including some of the biggest films in the last couple of years. Forrest Gump, Apollo 13, Ransom. His latest uh, film is called Snake Eyes. It opens this Friday. Please welcome Gary Sinise. <laughs> I brought you a little something uh, from you. Al here. Oh, from Al. Oh. There you go. Oh, well, well, yeah, that's a... Those are not a... I, you know, I, give me, he I wanted don't, you to I have I don't even want to touch these. <laughs> you know, you might want to wash your hands with some strong disinfectant immediately afterwards. <laughs> Well, you, you're just sitting on top of the world. Now, you're like the hottest guy in the hottest... You got nominated again for uh, George Wallace? Yes. You feeling pretty good about things? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got another movie coming out tomorrow? Yeah, Snake Eyes. It's a Brian De Palma movie with Nick yeah. Cage. It's just fabulous. Yeah. Did you ever think it was going to be this good? I mean, you always have to be confident, but did you think it would be this good when you were struggling? <laughs> no, no. Uh, th this good? No, yeah. no, no. I was hoping it would be a little better. Yeah. But... Uh, I used to. Uh, was it pretty know, bad? Son? Yeah, the days I was uh, I was a gardener at this uh, this one place. I used to. Uh, in the early days, we started a theater called Steppenwolf. Sure, it's, it's very famous very, now, you know. very uh, But in the very early days of Steppenwolf, uh, we all were working other jobs. I would right. work uh, as a gardener at this sort of uh, like Tanglewood type place. It's a place called Ravinia Festi Festival. It's outside oh, sure. of Chicago. Okay, play out, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and uh, uh, we didn't have any money. We didn't have anything yeah. uh, in those days. And uh, we had our theater in a basement, and we would steal things. I remember <laughs> I would... Uh, uh, I should probably pay them back for some yeah. of these things. <laughs> but I was a gardener, and I, I used to take, uh, like, big cases of toilet paper, and I'd uh, put it in, into my little gardening truck that I had that I drove around in. <laughs> Take it over the fence, <laughs> drop it over on the other side of the fence, you know, buckets and mops now why, and uh, as things. As a gardener, like that. why did you need toilet paper? I'm curious. I didn't need toilet paper oh, as a care gardener. At the, at the park. Oh, I see. No, no, no. I would take the stuff and then take it to our theater. Because oh, I see. we needed. Oh, you, you needed know, it. We there, needed yeah. to wipe. Yeah, yeah. I mean. So the plays were that yeah. bad in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Audience is screaming, more toilet paper! I can't watch this performance! We would hand out a roll to everybody that came in. It was a, a, a So when bonus, did things yeah. pick up? When you moved to L.A.? Y yeah, well, uh, I came to Los Angeles actually in 1979 for about a year and tried yeah. to audition and do that. <laughs> it's I, I, awful, you know, it? It's awful, yeah. <laughs> I was doing the audition thing. I got, uh, I think I got, in, in 10 months, I got one job on Knott's Landing for about 30 seconds where I was a guy on the, on the beach. <laughs> Good casting. Yeah. Uh, no, I was a guy on the beach. Yeah, you can probably look that up. Uh, but uh, I, I spent so much time by yeah. myself. I was just miserable, and I hated. You get very cynical yeah. being in Hollywood, you know, when you're not getting jobs. And <laughs> I just created this whole character for myself in the, uh, where I pictured myself as somebody who just was so large he could never leave his room. He was like 400 pounds, and he had. I called myself Hideous Man, and, and I, I lived in one room. I had four homely dogs, and I lived in one room for the rest of my life and uh, wrote songs and, and watched Andy and Mayberry no, over and over and well, over. Well, and, well, what uh, what kind of songs do you write as Hideous Man? It doesn't sound like... <laughs> Can you remember any of the tunes? Do you know well, how they... The title song, Hideous Man. Hideous Man? Was Hideous the, Man was, was... The album, thing. that was the album title. I, I've got a hole in my pocket. I've got a hole in my head. <laughs> I got a hole in my pocket, I got a hole in my head. I ain't got no common sense, so I might as well be in bed, picking my nose. You know, you are a beautiful lyricist. That yeah, is amazing. You. <laughs> you know, I found some great... It's kind of a blues tune. Oh, yeah, all right. I found some great photos of you. And the nice thing is, I look at these photos and realize you didn't take yourself seriously as an actor then. Wait, show that first one there. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, man! <laughs> I think this was during your male hooker period, wasn't it? What is that? No, that's how, that's how I used to dress uh, in high school. <laughs> now, yeah. what were you doing there? What play? Do you remember? That, that? was a play called Rosencrans and Gildenstern sure. Are Dead, yeah, right. by Tom Stoppard, yeah. Wait, this other picture I really what? like. This is you, like, at the Holiday Inn. They let you go, they go. There you go. Appearing nightly at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Gary in the 
Samisis. That's what you look like there. That's, uh, that, that is a good. And look yeah. how she put that back up. Look at look at the intensity. <laughs> look at the intensity. Did women ever fall for that? Hi, baby. No. How are you? The, the, <laughs> The, the hair goes up, That's you know. Great. Kind of, well, you know, I did some research of my own. I, I happen to have a, a few things that I brought along with me. Uh, I don't know. Is that what those are over there? Yeah, I saw those sitting there. They're here. Oh, fine. Now, oh, fine. Let's, let's take a look at uh, some of these. I, I was able to dig up. Here's, my uh, here's yeah. something. Yeah. That's very nice. Let me see that again. Can we see that again? <laughs> yeah. Now, Jay, what's up? <laughs> what's up? But, but, but the, the most serious work oh, look at that. is yeah, right here. Let, let's take a look at that. <laughs> that was during my gay hooker period. Yeah. That was... Are these those, like, uh, you know, commercial uh, no, no, resume no, shots? No, or someone what said, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is your look for, that's, you know, the my, sexy look. Yeah, that's to get my walk out on Knott's Landing. That's uh, what yeah. I have to do. And this is the funny look. <laughs> that's right. Pretty great. <laughs> oh, put those down. All right, fine. All right, We're all right. That's right. We all got our, our Now, thing. tell me about Snake Eyes. Tell me about this film. It looks like a lot of fun. Shot in Atlantic City? Yeah, Atlantic City. We uh, we shot there. Uh, no, we shot there for two weeks. Thankfully, we were only in La Atlantic City. Do you City love Atlantic City? Weeks. You seem like the kind of guy that would thrill on the gambling lifestyle, yeah. the hotel, the boardwalk. Yeah, I can't stand Atlantic City. <laughs> I just, <laughs> Atlantic City is not my kind of... What do you do there in Atlantic City? If you go there, what do you do? You gamble. You, you uh, breathe in air conditioning and you gamble. That's all there is. And I would come down the stairs... I would, uh, I was stuck in a, in one of the hotels, you know, because that's all there is there. And uh, I would come down the stairs. I'd go out the elevator. I'd be hearing the ding, 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 ding. I'd, I'd see, you know, this this woman, you know, there, and she's. <laughs> and and that that that's at eight in the morning. I know. And then I'd come home from work, and at night she's still there. You know, eight I, at night. I once saw a woman nursing her baby playing the slots, and she would go, and she'd hit the kid's head every time she went like this. And the kid's going, man, man. Yeah. And it's going, bomb, just playing away. Now the kid's grown up, and he's hitting himself. <laughs> yeah, he's, that, 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 he's writing yeah. songs like Hideous Man. In a... <laughs> now tell us what it's about. It looks like, you know, I haven't had a chance to see it this week. I know it opens Friday, but it looks like a real thriller. It's a, it's, it's terrific. It's a, yeah. it's a fun, fun movie. It's a, a, a whodunit. It takes place all in this casino during a, uh, a boxing match. The Secretary of uh, Defense is right. attending a boxing match along with me. I'm kind of uh, on tour with him. I play a naval commander who is assigned to security for him. Yeah. And I, I invite my boyhood friend, uh, Nick Cage, who both of us grew up in Atlantic City. I got out, joined the Navy. He right. stayed and became a detective. And uh, we attend this boxing match, and during the boxing match, the secretary is assassinated. And, and then it becomes kind of a whodunit. And Brian De Palma directed, right? He's a, yes. He's yeah. got a great yeah. eye for style. I mean, he's got, oh, yeah, really, absolutely. Here, take a look. Here's a scene oh. from Snake Eyes. This is my fault. I should never have left my seat. I opened up a sight line. I was off the deck. What the hell was I doing? This is my fault. What the hell's the matter with you? Don't talk like that where people can hear. You don't understand. I pulled rank on the regular detail and took command of security. I told him the secretary would be better protected with me running the operation because I know the area, the layout of the arena, and no local law enforcement. I get assigned, I step out of position, the secretary takes a bullet in the throat. Why were you out of position? I should never have left him. I could be court martial for this. That is not going to happen. We're not going to let that happen. Do you understand? That looks great. Now, where are you off to? You going back home tomorrow? Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually off uh, to Chicago tomorrow. My wife's uh, doing a play at Steppenwolf, Playboy of the Western World, uh, oh, Moira Harris, and she's uh, in the show. It's, it's running great. And That's great. great. Give her my best, would you? Thank you. And congratulations Thanks. on everything. Great. Yeah. We'll be right back right after this with Joe Craftwall and the Amazing Bird.